For more on this, we are being joined by John Erath, Senior Policy Director for the Center for Arms Control and Nonproliferation. He's joining us live from Washington, D.C. John, welcome back to WEON, and thank you for uh, coming. Qatar and the U.S. say that they are closer than ever to finding some kind of settlement to free hostages held captive by Hamas. And Qatar notably says it's the final stages. The U.S. doesn't directly deal with Hamas. So how do you see the U.S. role from here on out? The uh, U.S. role would be one of the, the sort of big brother. Uh, it would be a guarantee that uh, both sides would be uh, adhering to the terms of any agreement that might worked out, and it would lend some legitimacy to the overall settlement arrangements. And, you know, there's this fine line between military victory for Israel and the security of hostages that we continue to talk about. Uh, judging from your experience, you know, you deal with arm control, nonproliferation. These weapons are very uh, deadly on the one hand, but on the other hand, you know, these tunnels are very deep as well. Can you talk about that fine line that Israel is dealing with? One of Israel's priorities has been to secure the release of Israeli citizens that are being held hostage. Uh, so any arrangement that uh, would lead to this would be a positive outcome for the Israelis. Uh, so they, they are very eager to get their people back and hopefully unharmed. And it would certainly be in everyone's interest to see a, a uh, pause in the fighting. Uh, this would allow civilians to be evacuated from the area. Uh, one of the, the main uh, the, the most horrific aspects of the war thus far has been the effect on civilians uh, who are caught in the middle of the fighting between Israel and Hamas, and a pause in the fighting would enable some of them to evacuate and to get to safety, and that would be very important. Yes, indeed, and we're looking out for that. John Ira, thank you so much for joining us this morning on WEON. Thank you.